In this tutorial, I'll be providing you with the best short and simple techniques to access blocked websites on an Android phone without using any VPN app. As you can see, the Facebook site is blocked in my networks by the administrator, but YouTube and all the other sites are opening as usual. So let's see how we can unblock Facebook without using a VPN app. Method 1. Using a private DNS. This method will work on smartphones with Android 9 or newer Android versions. With this method, you won't need any third-party apps. You only need to change a simple setting on your phone. So open your phone setting. Tap on connections. More connection settings. Tap on private DNS. Here enable the option private DNS provider hostname. In the field below, you can enter the hostname of any private DNS provider. On your screen, these are the most popular private DNS provider. I'll use Cloudflare DNS. Tap on save and close the settings. Now open the browser and visit the website that was blocked. You can see the Facebook website is opening even though it's blocked in my network. After following this method, if you still cannot access the blocked website, then you'll need to install the Cloudflare private DNS app on your Android phone. Method 2 using Cloudflare's DNS app. This method works on smartphone with any Android version. First, we need to install the Cloudflare DNS app from Google Play Store. This application is completely free to use without annoying ads. After installation, open the app. Tap on the toggle button to enable the private DNS service. The app asks you to install a VPN profile. Simply allow it. Please remember, this is not a VPN app. It just uses Android's VPN API to encrypt your internet traffic. This is a DNS app, so it won't hide your real IP address as a VPN app does. Once everything is set up, close the app and try to open the blocked website. And you can see, it's accessible now. Guys, I hope this video was helpful and that you were able to access blocked website on your Android phone. Still, if you have any problems, then feel free to ask them in the comment section below.